Hello and welcome to the Syncytio webinar. My name is Mark Pitchko and we will be discussing the workings of Syncytio, the types of equipment to look for applications, and the types of products that we seal. Syncytio has been in business for over 25 years. We are a manufacturer of rotary shaft seals for slow rotating process equipment. Our main industries of focus are food, chemical, and material handling. We are located in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and we do all of our manufacturing here at the home office. We are a unique and problem-solving sealing device designed to seal powders and slurries on process equipment. It is an effective shaft seal that reduces product loss, eliminates housekeeping issues, prevents bearing and equipment failure, as well as downtime, and is critical in today's demanding processing plan. The main products that we seal are dough, which you can see, uh, which are used in making cookies, crackers, breads and rolls, spices and flavorings, cheese and other dairy mixes, liquid chocolate, powder chocolate, meat and poultry, dry and wet pet food, cement, gypsum, and concrete, chemicals like TiO2, silicone, pesticides, and we also seal jams and candies and all kinds of gums and sugars. As you can see by the slide, we sell to a lot of major food companies in the world, as well as many major OEMs like Martin Sprocket and Gear, the Wham Group, Peerless, and KWS. The main rotating equipment that we seal are screw conveyors, horizontal, incline, vertical, ribbon blenders, paddle mixers, cookers used a lot in meat and cheese plants, tilt bowl dough mixers used primarily in large bakeries, vertical mixers, rotary airlocks, bucket elevators, and side entry agitators are all the types of equipment that we put our seals on. Our main industries of focus, again, are meat and poultry, chocolate, chemical, cement, pulp and paper, mining, pharmaceutical, industries like that. One of the main industries that we want to focus on are chocolate. We put a lot of seals in chocolate plants and they mainly go on chocolate holding tanks made by companies um, like William A. Schmidt who makes them a Carter tank, Blommer tanks, and Goodhart. We put them on pug mills, conches, refiners, horizontal mixers, blenders, and also you can find screw conveyors in chocolate plants. We have uh, thousands of seals and chocolate plants all over the world with excellent results. Another industry that's big for us is the bakery industry. We put our seals mainly on tilt bowl dough mixers, and we also put them on vertical slurry mixers that you will find in bakeries. Cheese processing is another industry that we focus on, and our seals go on cookers, horizontal paddle mixers, ribbon blenders, and screw conveyors. Sugar is another good product for us, for our seals. We have installed our seals on screw conveyors using sugar, horizontal paddle mixers and ribbon blenders, horizontal and vertical sugar crystallizers, and bucket elevators. Meat processing, again, cookers, horizontal paddle mixers, ribbon blenders, rendering screws, and incline purge augers. This next slide shows the benefits of cinch seal. Cost savings, number one on the list. When factors like product waste, unscheduled maintenance costs and downtime, premature bearing failure and shaft damage are all eliminated and impressive ROI is resulted. Our seals are FDA approved. Number three, because of our unique design, our seals do not damage rotating shafts like you see with mechanical packing and lip seals. Our seals can handle runout, which is very common in material handling type equipment. They're much healthier and safer for your employees. 
And last, they are repairable to help share the costs, spread out the costs. This next slide is showing two inferior type seals that we see a lot, lip seals and rope packing. Unlike cinch seal that rotates with the shaft, these seals are stationary and damage rotating shafts. They wear quickly and have to be adjusted, which takes cost time and money, and they cannot handle shaft run out like cinch seal can. On this next slide, we thought it'd be fun to show some pictures of leaking seals that we've gotten from customers over the years. And here is some examples of cinch seal. As you can see, everything is nice and clean and sanitary, no product leaking out. That's what we're aiming for. This next slide is showing the workings of our seal. We have a housing and three rotating components. The three rotating components are slightly thicker than the housing depth. And when the seal housing is tightened down, there is compression that is taking place and is causing this rotating purple seal face to compress against this green end plate. This tight face load, we call it, is what is stopping product from leaking past. We are also sealing the shaft by this blue elastomer. It is a very tight fit and is stopping product from leaking past. It is this tight fit that allows the three components to turn with the shaft, eliminating shaft wear like you see with lip seals and packing. We also air purge our seals to pressurize the chamber and keep product out. This next slide kind of explains why we air purge our seals. It creates a higher positive pressure in the seal chamber, which helps keep product from getting into our seal. The air purge also cools the rotating seal faces, keeping the temperature down. And the air pressure is also having a downward force on the blue elastomer to keep that tight to the shaft so the rotation keeps, keeps going. And it's also pushing the rotating seal faces tight against the stationary face to help maintain that seal. This next slide is demonstrating how we want the air regulators to be set up. We want each seal to have its own dedicated air line and air regulator. We do not want people to share one regulator between two seals because then one seal may not be getting the right amount of air pressure. This slide is showing the different models that cinch seal has. Depending on the type of metal, like aluminum or stainless, solid or split, we have the seal for your application. One of the more popular seals is the 7550 model, made out of aluminum. It is designed around the SEMA specs. It can accommodate a flange mounted bearing, and it can handle shaft run out, and like our other seals, does not damage rotating shafts. The 7850 is a similar seal as far as the workings, but the housing is made out of 316 stainless steel for any kind of caustic washdowns or any other chemicals that may attack aluminum. You can also offer solid seals, but with split internals. The seal internals are designed to wear, so if you have a pillow block bearing or a gearbox or motor, it can be a pain to pull the seal off and rebuild it. So we can use split wearable parts to make the repair much easier on the customer. The 9700 split seal is designed totally split where the housing and end plate and the seal internals are all split so the customer can build the seal on the existing mixer around the shaft. You don't have to remove the bearings or gearboxes because all the components are split. Now this slide is showing our split repair kit. Our seals are designed to wear the wearable or sacrificial part of our seal or the elastomer and the two rotor cups. And it's what we call a repair kit. Once your seal runs for a year or two and starts to leak due to the parts being worn, a new split repair, repair kit can be purchased. On this slide is a flyer that we put together, together that is showing the type of equipment in the left hand column. In the center column is the type of material, and in the right hand column is the type of seal that we would recommend. So for example, on the first line here, you have a screw conveyor, and you say you're mixing cement or gypsum or sugar, and you're looking for the seal type, it's the 7550 made out of aluminum. 
This next slide is just showing some pictures of some rotary airlock seals that we've made in the past. Um, we can do custom seals to replace packing or lip seals on rotary airlocks. And we also can do cartridge seals that are designed to replace the packing or lip seals that come on the Dodge or Falk direct drive adapter plates. You would just tell us the Dodge adapter number like a TXT or SCXT and we can recommend the correct seal for you. Now this slide is talking about the three main parts of our seal. Part one is a silicone elastomer. The elastomer, as we already said, is the key heart of our seal because it grips your shaft and is what allows, allows the three components to, to turn with the shaft. It's made out of an FDA approved material and it's good to within two temperatures of 425 F. The second part of our seal is the PTFE rotor cups. Those are the ro rotating seal faces. They're made out of a mineral filled PTFE and they are also FDA approved for food contact. And then the last part of our seal is the metal housing and end plate. They can be made out of stainless steel, hard coat aluminum, polypropylene. Um, so we have a wide range of materials that we can make housings out of based on need and customer budget. This slide is important because it's showing the seal capabilities. Our seals are good for certain temperatures, pressures, and shaft RPMs. So it's very important to know the range. So our seals are good to temperatures up to 425 F. We can handle full vacuum. We can handle up to 45 PSI of internal pressure. Um, we can handle shaft RPMs about 400 and lower. And the flow rate when you have your air regular set up is about 1 CFM. This is a, a picture of an application sheet that we send out to customers when they uh, either email us or a custom, uh, one of our sales per people go to visit and it just collecting, used to collect the information that we need to design and quote a seal. So the key things that on this sheet that we, that we need are shaft size, space constraints, bolt size and bolt pattern. Um, so it's a good tool for us to know what we're dealing with so we can offer the right seal for your application. Once we get all that information, we do a, tip, a 2D drawing, which shows the bolt pattern, the thickness, the o OD of the seal, so that customers can check it out and make sure that it's correct for what the information they provided us. They can sign off for an approval and then if they order it, we can start making the seal. We put together this slide to demonstrate a typical installation of a split seal on a mixer. As you can see, the inboard housing is sliding over four studs. They build the internal parts around the shaft. The outboard housing goes over the studs and then they put the nuts on it. And that's really all it takes. Everything is already self-loaded and you know set from when we send the seals out. Here is another set of pictures showing a typical installation. On this particular thing, they had two big studs, so they cut them off and welded off four new studs. So that could be an option for customers um, when, when we're matching and installing our seals on an existing mixer. This is a before and after picture on an incline conveyor at a uh, meat processing plant. This is a before and after on a slurry mixer, a vertical slurry mixer. Our seals at the bottom, so it's very important because if chocolate leaks out, it can mess up gear, the, the gearboxes and the motors down there. It can be a really costly repair. This is a uh, side entry agitator in a pulp mill. And you can see a much cleaner, neater environment after our seal is installed. This is an ROI example. Uh, that shows when the customer purchased our seals that within one year they saved $78,000. And you can read uh, the detail in the 
on the ROI to get more details. But that just shows how you know, purchasing our seals actually saves customers lots of money. This ROI example saved $61,500. Large, very, you know, large sums of money. So we have a very good ROI return when customers purchase our seals. If you happen to be a distributor, this slide is kind of showing the reasons why you would offer cinch seal to your customer. Stops product leakage, stops shaft wear. Uh, when you sell a seal to a customer, you now have the opportunity to sell them repair kits over the years. And we have a proven return on investment that can make you look good in the eyes of your customer when you're saving them lots of money based on a recommendation that you had for a seal. These are some links to some uh, interesting and informative sites that will show some videos and how a seal is assembled. This is the contact information of some key people in our company. Take some time to look at that. Feel, feel free to email us anytime with any questions, application questions, um, anything like that. We're, we're here to help you. So in conclusion, Sincio believes in putting out a quality product and standing behind it. We offer excellent customer service in the field as well as you know, in the office. We are very good about return, returning around quotes and drawings. Um, if anybody, if any customers have any issues with our seals, we address it very quickly and take care of their problem without any questions asked. We offer a six month warranty on our seals um, and we warranty the metal stainless parts for one year. This is usually the time we have for discussion or questions. Um, if you have any questions, you have our emails from a couple slides back, feel free to email us. And again, thank you for your time. I hope you learned something from this webinar. And feel free to write or call us anytime. Thank you very much.